Religion is regarded by common people as true, by the wise as false, and by rulers as useful. And so, man will never be free until the last king is strangled with the entries of the last priest. Miracle money, the apostle Suleiman's debacle. The general overseer of the Omega Fire Ministry, Apostle Suleiman, in a recent video, made a claim in his church commanding angels to send money to the bank account of worshippers. The congregation rejoiced why he made this proclamation to them. And some members claimed to have received a lot from angels in his church. A young man, Mr. Israel Balogu, went out to challenge the pastor, adding that this claim was false and same was targeted at misleading the public. The pastor petitioned the police to have the young man arrested. The police invited and detained the young man. The fact of this case underscores the struggle and problem of this society. First, the elites want to have their ways unchallenged at all costs. To say you have made angels kasha to send money to people's bank account is not practicable. Forget carnality. It is not what you should say to an already gullible congregation. It is a lie. That the Holy Spirit just whispered to you that people will receive a lot for money they did not work for. This cannot be true. You must admit you've got ulterior motive by advancing that implacable narrative. Again, the congregation who lack critical thinking, who are looking for an easy way out to make money, are the very reason the enterprise flourish and crime has reached an implosive level in our country. You don't pray to get money transferred to you. That is clearly selfish. You work for money, offer service or sell goods, that is how to make money. Religion has ravaged this society and turned the larger population of our citizens to a burden unto themselves. It is not fit to say angels should transfer money to people's bank account. It is madness. Teach people to develop themselves, their inner faculties, to learn a skill and earn money legitimately. It is heresy to ask them to wait on your angels to earn money without their impute. Lastly, the police who do not investigate matters before swinging into action, as long as the matter is reported by a rich man, we are tired of you. You are the biggest disgrace in this social disorderliness and unrest. Can you explain to Nigerians the reason for the young man's detention in relation to the pastor's claim do you believe angels are cashiers? What is wrong with you guys? This survivor mentality is the reason you have no respect in this society and you are not ashamed of yourself. You are creating more problems for this society than you can yourself manage. Why not sit the complainant down and evaluate his claim and check his mental health before jumping carelessly to arrest a suspect. So tell us, what is the young man's offense? Under what law will you charge him? How can the police, the clergy, and the congregation be mad at the same time? Why are you all sick at the same time? I would therefore advocate that the time has come for the government to regulate religion in Nigeria and enact legislation to curb this madness before it gets out of hand. I shall go to rabbi again.